So today, as a bit of a follow-up to the Teldrin Sirius quest that I just completed, I, as promised, am going to be doing the second mod, or spin-off mod in the series, which is a serious marriage. A Teldrin Sero marriage. Now, for this, I've changed my, uh, my normal character into a, well, I was gonna say lovely Dark Elf, but it's hard to make really, really lovely Dark Elves in Skyrim. They didn't make it easy. Having played a lot of ESO where I have a Dunmer character, it's like, it's a lot easier in ESO to make them... I, work I mean, for Mogul. more you traditionally a attractive him. is what I should say. Teldrin Sero, Blade for Hire. If you have the coin, I'm at your service. Consider yourself hired. Then let's be off. Uh Okay, so right behind you. There is a dialogue option already with him that says I'm interested in you. I know that you have to be in Solstheim and it needs to be Outlanders. during the day. Look somewhere else. You looking for trouble? So I don't Stay know out if of my way. you have to be you know in the city itself not in an interior cell. So let's try that What's out. What's our next move? I'm interested in you. What? Are you... Are you serious? You know, I'm a Dark Elf lady. You, a Dark Elf man. I could have probably done this with my Nord male character, but here I am anyway, changing everything up. I don't know your preferences, I just made a lot of assumptions about you. This could actually be construed as kind of rude. But I love you. Uh, <laughs> damn, Ash. I'd marry you right now. This is very forward. It's a good thing that I'm doing this with a save where I've already done his quest, so you feel a little closer to him. But, um, this is very, very forward. I'm getting some flashbacks to the romance from the Shire right now. Look, I appreciate your company, but you with me. Don't look at me like that. If you don't feel the same. Apologies. I do for you. No need to be shy, then. Ha. Huh. Very well. I can hardly wait. Oh. If you know what I mean. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> I just got engaged. How about that, huh? You've brought Ravenrock back from the brink, Traveler. I don't know how to thank you. Well, you could come to my wedding. Good journey, Traveler. I, I guess I'm engaged. He just... laughed. He just absolutely laughed, and I was like, alright, we can get married. I'm like, is this how you're going to... approach our marriage? Not very seriously? Ugh. You may... Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders are... Okay, he didn't even finish his insult to me. So, uh, joke's on you. You look like someone who appreciates nice things. I'm here for my wedding. You know, I didn't put down a down payment, I didn't tell you what the date was or anything, I'm just here for my wedding. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Well, here you go. Don't allow yourself to be fooled by a pretty face. I am the pretty face. Wait, why did he give me gold? Why did you give me gold and why do you make the priestess sweep up? Huh? Blessings to you. What is it you seek, my child? Is there a shrine of Mara here in Raven Rock? No, that was an ugly affair. It came down to a disagreement between what I believe and what Elder Othraloth believes. Does it mean people can't get married in Raven Rock? No, no, not at all. Mara believes that the spark of a union comes from inside us. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Why the disagreement over a shrine? 
Mara and Abella demand compassion from us. People laugh at things they don't believe. It helps them accept the unknown. Well, I wish to have a wedding here. Oh, splendid. Just splendid. Mara smiles upon us this day. Then it's settled. Teldrin and I. Oh my, how wonderful. I'm so happy for both of you. And how is that old warrior doing these days? He's like an eagle, always seeking to fly somewhere new. Well, he better settle down with this lovely specimen of a Dunmer lady right here. You know him? Yes. After we left Morrowind, we found ourselves in Skyrim. I was a soldier for a time, and then a mercenary. But I was never truly happy until I came here. Please come by soon. Not for me, but for yourself. It only takes but a moment to say a silent prayer to Mara. Are you always so quick to arrange a ceremony? I mean, I guess it's the same way back in Skyrim. It's like, hey, come back tomorrow and you can get married. Oh, no. But being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. Well, here for the arrangement. Very well. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Please, come back and speak to me anytime. Alright. Speak with Teldrin. Also, because I realize I might just not have read um, the little pop-up from the other priest. Did he give me gold, or did I give him gold? Because if I gave him gold, then what did I give him the gold for? He didn't set this up. You may have everyone fooled, but I see what you're doing here. The call of gold sends you scurrying like a rat. Yeah, you know, I'm an adventurer. That's how it goes. Get over it, pal. Now where is my, uh, my Get future hubby? The edge if the ash has your oh, here he is. Oh, it's you. Yeah, your fiancé, bitch. I've arranged our wedding. You know, maybe you could sound a little bit more excited about all of this. Huh. Any luck? They had the Shrine of Mara removed. And was. I mean, we should have expected it, right? I don't mind. The priests will handle it for us. Well, perhaps there's some hope for us yet. We could go to the temple right now. So soon? What? I warn you, though. Oh, whoa. I don't like the looks of that place one bit. Ash spawn. Like to spring up from nowhere. Okay. Okay, there was a slight audio glitch there. I don't know if you heard that. I don't know if that's just the way the light was spliced together or what, but it scared me a little, even though it wasn't super loud. I won't leave your side. Then let's be off, partner. I feel like partner's gonna be the nicest thing he calls us during this whole thing. It's gonna be the best compliment I can get. But once again, you gotta make do with uh, the vanilla voice lines, so in that respect, it's pretty cool. Here you are. Let's begin the ceremony. Oh, that was fast. That was very, very fast. You're really gonna wear that armor? To your wedding? How dare you? We gather here today to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next, in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Azura. May wisdom forever light your path. Mathala. Remind us of our place when we forget. And Boethia. Strength and courage be always with you. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Oh. Are you sure? What? Of course, I'm certain. Why would you say it like that? Oh, dear. Not now, please. Damn it. Sorry. I'm not very good at this. Yeah, why did we pay you? Remember your lessons, attendant. I just... Very well. Do you agree to be bound together in love, 
now and forever? Yeah, can we, um, you know, maybe get someone more professional? Uh, I do, now and forever. I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings. May they protect each of you in your new life together. About time. And now, we didn't even have any attendees, because I was going to say, it's like, and now we can just go celebrate, but... There's not even anyone here to celebrate this with us. Ouch. I mean, we did this very, very last second, so... Oh man, I feel like the Skyrim weddings are, you know, bigger than this even. You definitely get a much bigger turnout, that's for sure. Still know you couldn't be bothered to, you know, wear something nice. Have a drink. <laughs> oh! <gasps> get that vile liquid away from me. Not fair. They always take the good stuff. I'm the brewmaster around here. Oh! What do you say to that. You heard the man. Drink and be merry. Oh, this is great. Wait. Did you hear that? Sounds like those ash spawn are back. Nope, not on our wedding day. Not on our wedding day. Wait! Oh! Oh! And here I was thinking that the wedding was over. Oh, I hit the priest by accident. I hope everyone's not gonna freak out. I'm just really trying not to hit people. What's going on? What's going on? Because I accidentally hit look, I I the priest. I am so happy for both of you. I think you're just jealous. Like I think you're jealous and you want to marry me. It's because I'm a fetching, strong gunman. By gods, I know this looks bad. Let me explain. I'd rather go and celebrate in private. I understand. Tell you what, there's a gorgeous tree that grows right up through a cave to the northeast of here. You should think about staying the night. Okay. How's that sound to you, hubby? Those foul vermin. Let's be done here, quickly. Come with me. Sure. Spend the night with Teldrin. Ooh. Now, where are we going? Oh, it's an unmarked cave, so maybe it's a new location, then. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Alright. We made it. Ooh, Shrine of Mothers. Okay. I was worried that the mob was pretty much over once we got through the marriage ceremony, because uh, on the mod page it said like, oh, experience a traditional dumber wedding, and I was worried that that was going to be it. Also would have just made for the shortest video ever. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is really, really nice. I want to look at the shrine before we go up to where the marker is. <laughs> you got... Little Debella statue standing on the little, or not little, the big Mara statue. That's kind of funny. The Shrine of Debella and a Shrine of Mara. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is great. Once again, the mod author just shows an incredible talent for just level design and doing environments. Oh boy. Oh no, where is this going? Oh boy. Am I gonna get uncomfortable? No, okay. Cut to black. Spending the night in each other's arms, you feel your lover's embrace wash away all your worry and fears. Nothing can touch this golden moment between you and Teldrin. You wake in the morning and kiss one last time before leaving the warm furs of your bed. Your new life together begins, bonded now and forever. I'm with you. I can hardly believe it. Shall we live here? In Raven Rock? Ha. Huh. You've picked the wrong town to settle, Outlander. Well, maybe don't call me Outlander for starters. Where would you like to live? 
Hmm. Riverwood looks peaceful. Do you think you could make that work? I'm always at home as long as I'm with you. I... Hey, completed. A serious wedding. But there's no homes in Riverwood. I don't think... I don't think there's a home yes, in Riverwood that we can... dearest. Go to. Oh! Oh, he said dearest! If I say come here, is it just another hug thing? All right. I think so. All right. Little known fact, the hug animation is actually a uh, vanilla animation. It's not a modded one. It's in the game. It's just never, ever used at all. I have a very strong feeling that there's no actual home in Riverwood for us to get, uh, but I want to be thorough, so we're just going to head over to Riverwood and see if there is. Riverwood looks peaceful. If I had to settle in Skyrim, this might be the place I'd choose. Yes, dearest. Okay, so I haven't found any homes yet. In Riverwood, I want to keep looking around. But I like the line that he has to say. So what I'm wondering is, if there's no home that we can get in Riverwood, can we go to one of our homes and set that as, um, like a home? That way, that's where he'll go back to if, you know, we split up. Would you mind cooking something for me? Here. You've earned it. Oh, he actually cooks for me. Home-cooked meal. Why, thank you. All right. Lead on. Um, yeah, I have the feeling this doesn't add any new homes here. Whatever you need. But let me check anyway. Yes, dearest. Okay, so I don't see any dialogue options about setting a home. So I wonder where he goes if you part ways. Oh, fine. Go on. Leave me here. When you decide to return to your senses, you know where to find me. Fowler leaves your service. I'm guessing that means he's just gonna go back to Raven Rock. That's the one unfortunate thing of not being able to set a home with him, is that... You know, it'd be nice to be able to send him to a home, rather than him just going back to the Retching Netch. Can I catch him before he goes back, or... No, I think he just fast-traveled back immediately. Oh, no, there he is. Okay. I was enjoying our travels together before we parted company. Wait. I'd be happy to rejoin you for no charge, if you're interested. Very well. I love that they did set it so that you don't have to pay him anymore. You know, your husband. Lead the way. All right. That's very nice. One more hug. I'm not going anywhere. One more. Boom. Magical hugs. I love it. That is going to be it for this video. This has been A Serious Marriage, a Teljan Sarah wedding. I figured it was worth covering just because of the fact that we finished Teljan Sirius, and this would just be a nice way to wrap that up. Like I said, for this video, I did change up my character, made them into a female Dunmer, just because I thought it would be a nice touch to have both of them as Dunmer for a traditional Dunmer wedding back in Raven Rock. You can do this with male or female, I just decided to do female for this, but it's ultimately up to you. The mod does make use of the vanilla marriage system, which means if you're already married, you're not going to be able to marry Teljin, you have to be single already. Similarly, if you marry Teljin, it means you won't be able to marry other characters. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time on Skyrim Saturday.